Welcome to Thinking Particles 6.4. In this feature video, we will discuss the new functions we have added to subscription drop 4 of Thinking Particles. We will talk especially about the new Viscoelastic Solver we have added. The new Viscoelastic Solver allows you to create highly viscous fluids. Fluids like honey, oil or any kind of thick fluids are possible. This is achieved with a spring-based viscoelastic fluid solver that is not only able to simulate honey or oil-like fluids, you can also simulate rubber-like materials or dough-like materials that even can spring off surfaces when the impulse is really strong and hard and for a short time. Let's have a look how we set up the honey scene here. What we have here is a simple setup we use in Thinking Particles. We have a particle generator, we use a position born, we use a volume position, and in this volume position you can see we already use a subscription drop 4 feature called the reset type, and that allows us to create new particles on a certain event. We use a cylinder to emit the particles to get our volume, our stream of honey, and this cylinder is used as our emitter. We use a rasterized system so that we can make sure that our honey is created in an orderly manner. Let's have a look now at the forces. The particles or the honey drops down, flows down, and we want it to have a natural look as it flows down. We use a simple force in thinking particles, nothing magic here, and here we go into our flow solver. The surfacing is done with our implicit shape. Let's check out the flow group first. We use already our new SPH viscoelastic solver 6.4 and this solver is just, uh, you can select it from the drop down list and it's our latest fluid solver. It's good for normal fluids as well, however, it's great for viscoelastic stuff. And all the settings and parameters you see here, they can be used with our solver. So most of the parameters you should already know. And now what's new, the uh, separate part for the SPH2 solver is also valid. The biggest new addition is the viscoelastic staff, the spring-based controls we have here. We are not going to discuss every single parameter here. There will be feature videos or training videos out there. However, just to show you, this is the new solver, the new controls of the spring-based system. Let me now show you how fast the solver is. We are going to just do a viewport playback and this is real time what you see here. And keep in mind, we are recording here the video in the background. So there's a lot of processing going on. So what you see here is actually happening in real time. We have surfacing, the meshing is created in real time, simulation is created in real time. And as you can see, we can create these highly viscous fluids really, really fast. And that's great because then you can easily adjust those kind of effects and talking about adjusting those effects. Let's have a look at our surfacing uh, method. And we are using our implicit shape, as you can see here. And the implicit shape has a new feature in drop four. It's called bubbles. And what we can do with that is we can simulate trapped air bubbles in a fluid. It's a very powerful and great feature we have here. You can simulate now air bubbles inside of your fluid. And this is just with a little button press. There's nothing complicated going on here. You just check the checkbox and you get the air bubbles. To show you that this is real time, we have to forward one frame step to update our mesh and simulation. And as you can see here, we start to visualize here these air bubbles. Let me just bring up a mosquito render GPU rendering. This rendering happens in real time. And as we are able to see here, the air bubbles are not really round right now. They are a little bit jagged. And that's because our resolution of the implicit surface is not high enough. 
Let me dial this up. And we have to forward in our frame a little bit to update the bubbles. And when you see, when we step forward, you will see the viewport display updating and the rendering updating as well. You will see that we get perfectly round air bubbles trapped. And it's as easy as that. You check it and there we go. We have the air bubbles inside of our fluid. It's a very powerful feature and it's really easy to create. And you have still full control over your air bubbles. Let me just overdo a little bit the effect so that you see that this is real-time rendering and that this is not a pre-recorded thing here. So I'll increase the radius to a really insane amount and I'll update uh, to the next frame and you will see we already start to see really um, large air bubbles inside of our fluid and you will see in the Mosquito Render real-time update as well, we see the air bubbles, the bigger air bubbles. And yes, you can overdo these effect, other effect. So you always have to adjust your resolution and your radius to get the effect you are looking after. It's really easy and powerful feature. And what it does is it's a Boolean operation with the implicit surface, with the ISO surface. And that really a powerful and fast feature we have implemented here. And just to show you, let me just close the real time rendering here. We are going to play back in real time a little bit this viewport. And what's happening now is we have high resolution air bubbles inside. And you can see we can play back in real time in the viewport, our simulation and the uh, surface. Now I'll reduce the viewing resolution of our surface and you can see it's much faster now. So you always have these optimization features and functions inside of thinking particles. It is just so easy to create amazing special effects inside of thinking particles. Let me dial this back to the original value. And let me show you the particle view. When we turn uh, to the particle view, we can see how fast our simulation runs. Because right now we don't have any mesh updates or mesh calculations going on. So you see the pure particle uh, updates here. And this is usually a little bit faster. So you can see how fast we are able to simulate such dense and thick fluids. Please check out our other videos as well as we show you more about the Vico Elastic uh, Fluid Solver. Thank you for watching the video.